Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. Our stats are maxed, our points are not, so the plan is simple. We're gonna be doing everything we can to obviously increase our points. I think this episode I'll focus a lot on Theater of Blood, but I'll also do some other bosses and, you know, we'll see where the tides take us. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. Laughing my ass off, you get carried. Say that to my purple, bro. Easy. There we go. All we have right now is Sanguinesti staff and four defenders. I would love to not get a defender, please. Okay, we take those. Nice. Dude, now I'm sad because I left the body in the chest last time. So I would have had the body and the legs. But you know what? This is good. If I wear this... 250 points and we are almost at 50k. Oh, that's sick. But now I'm already 99 everything, so this doesn't look as good anymore. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? <laughs> good thing we even get something out of that one. 50 defense potions. Yoink. Okay, there we go. Another Kraken tent on KC460. That is my Kraken tent number three. We gotta get seven more and that's gonna take a long time. But now that we are maxed, we are not worried about losing any time at all because, you know, it doesn't matter. We're chilling, we're relaxing, it's great. You know what else is great? Vikings War of Clans. Vikings is a multiplayer online strategy game that is completely free to play. The development team reached out to me and asked me to try it out, so I did. In the game, you will fight against other military leaders for the right to become the true leader of the north and you don't have to face it alone you can recruit allies by joining a clan or you can create your own you can even send the caravans of gifts out to your friends or clan members to help them out i like the wide selection of troops they have available i mean you have a ton of different options you got mercenaries slayers stalkers archers horsemen you name it it's probably in the game what you can do with the troops is you send them out to other players and villages and completely destroy them. Right now the game is celebrating its fifth year and it's still being consistently updated. Recently they have added a brand new gaming experience, the Gates of Helheim. Any player can go and gain rewards and upgrade their warriors by exploring the catacombs of Helheim against mythical enemies. You can help support my channel by downloading Vikings for free only from my links in the description and you can also look me up in the game under the nickname MikaDMM. So what are you waiting for? Become a hero in the world of Vikings Kings today. So in the morning, I decided to finish 500 Kraken, ended up getting one tentacle right over here on KC501, another tentacle on KC527, and then I went to TOB where my friend ended up getting a Vernic Defender Hilt, and right after that a Justicar Face Guard, which was the item he needed. This is the Kraken tentacle number 6 from the boss and I have one on the whip. So technically we do have 7 tentacles right now. So I need 3 or maybe 4 more depending on if I get a rapier or not. But that is amazing. So one of the goals that I'm doing this boss for is to reach 750 KC. That is the last milestone I gotta reach in order to get a bunch of points. But then everything after that is just going for 10 Kraken tentacles. Now if I could get very very lucky and get a bunch of these before 7. 750 that would be ideal oh my god i just got another one this is number eight okay only two more to go and i'm not even on 750kc yet so if i could keep getting lucky this could save me so much time all right chest 74 i think this one will be not a bad loot honestly it's pretty good all right chest 80 let's see not bad Kill count 85, no purples. And we get some, uh, some, some, some items, we'll take it. Every time there is a scuffed raid, there is a purple, so I believe. You just have to believe. Please, I have not seen a purple in so long. Ooh, there is a purple, nice. Please snow a vernik, let's see. And he gets an Avernic. Oh no. <laughs> oh, the tragedy. Unlucky, my friend. That was 13 minutes. That was really fast. Wow. <gasps> we see purple. <gasps> but it's not in our name. Okay, who's the lucky man? Oh, Robert did his task. Nice. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Who's the lucky man? It's edgy. A Vernik? No, 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 no Vernik. Do you need this? Third? Ah, uh, rip. KC94, I think, already. And not bad. I'm enjoying my pasta right now. There's another whip, so now we got basically two spare because this one is about to break. That's why I came here before it breaks. 
<laughs> good luck, good luck, good luck. A verdict defender. No. That is so sad. I, I swear he has a lot of those. Rip. Right, okay, what do we get? Any purples back to back? Nah, but I, this is a scam. I haven't seen a purple in so long. I'm MVP almost every raid. We take the Reynars. Alright, purple here on the chest 99. Please. There's a purple, nice. Grats, man. I think he has every drop, though. This guy has everything. Ah. We have now completed the TOB 100 times. 250 points. Completely forgot that was actually a thing. Can we get a purple on the chest 100? Nope. But we get... 104 defense potions, we take those. Alright, well, I did uh, about, what, 7 hours of TOB and got nothing. Uh, I mean, we, we, got, we got some good loot, but here's the loot from 102 so far. Crazy on the herbs, but not that lucky on the items. However, tomorrow is a new day, so we get more items then, hopefully. Still no rape yet, I have like 3 whips to go through, but better luck tomorrow, I guess. Alright, there we go, we just killed 750 Kraken, and from here on onwards, we don't get any more points for killing this boss. So we should hopefully get lucky on the tentacles. Right now we are sitting on 8, so basically we need 2 more, preferably 3 more. It is happening, 1 more Kraken tent to go. Well, technically 2, if I don't get a rapier, but I think I'll just go for 2 more. Uh, but that's gonna be awesome, that's a master task 500, if I can only get 2 more of these. And that, my friends, is a Kraken tentacle number 10, but... I have one in use right now, so basically I gotta get one more in order to complete this master level task. So I'm gonna stay here for one more, hopefully get lucky. And I actually have been insanely lucky with this. I think in total I should have killed around 1300 in order to reach the drop rate, but I got it pretty much 500 before that. At the moment when I need to heavy AFK, I return to fishing and I almost have 50 mil fishing XP and cooking XP. But most importantly, while fishing, I also get the clue scrolls. So I have completed not a lot, but a couple of clue scrolls. And the reason why I'm gonna be opening them is because I really want to get a master scroll book if I can get a master scroll book on this account that would be very helpful because I can then have unlimited teleports to places around the game wherever I have the teleport to so we're gonna start with easies and move up to elites and see if we can get a master scroll book and alongside that we can obviously complete a bunch of tasks when it comes to uniques if we get lucky but let's start with beginner we have three of those we get nothing out of that but we also get four easies that's the first unique, that's two more uniques, that is, I guess, another unique. I don't really know which one here would be unique, that's a bit of, a little bit odd. We got one more, and that's two more uniques, so uh, that's basically easy points that we're getting from that. Now mediums, obviously we want the boots, but realistically we're never gonna get them. Oh, we got uh, C50 more points for just opening that, and you get a bunch of uniques from this, so... That is two more. Moving up to six hard clue scrolls. Can we get a bunch of uniques? I also want a rune heraldic helm. Okay, that's what I need for one of the clue scrolls. And as you can see, 100 more points for just clicking that. That is perfect. And what is that? That is a time bow when I teleport. This is perfect if, once again, I get a master scroll book. Uh, because then I have infinite teleports there. So that would be amazing. Uh, but as you can see, we're getting so many uniques, like Crow's Ear, Plate Body G, like that's actually a good hard clue opening right there. Alright, and also two elite caskets, this one pretty bad, and this one, we get a Fremenic Kilt. Wait, I think that gives some strength, but I have Bandost Assets anyways, so that is it. That's actually, that would have been a good elite for a main game, but yo, I'm happy with this opening, I cannot complain. Wait, you get MVP even... If you die, that's crazy. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing duo TOB with Kriskis. And the total amount of time it takes us is basically 20 minutes. So the chance of me getting purples, this is most likely going to be the best way for me to get purples. To just do duos. And they are not as hard as I thought. So I'll probably do a bunch of these today. And let's see if we can get lucky. Nah, what is this? Okay, next one. The third time's the charm for sure, right? Nice. Worth it. I say worth. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. At least I'll have 200 mil uh, farming banked by the end of this. Any purples? Oh, oh yes! It's broken! The dry streak is broken! 
109 KC. I don't know how long the dry streak has been, but if my memory is correct, the last purple we got was at about chest number 70-ish. I could be wrong because obviously I don't know, but it's been around three days since we last got it. And the only thing I really want is a rapier, but I'd be happy with a scythe, a helm or a chest plate, I think. And the rapier, obviously. Let's see what we get. No defender, please. I knew, I knew it, dude. It's, it is what it is. So, in the past, if I were to get this Elite Clue Scroll, I would just drop the Clue Scroll and move on. However, now I actually can do this because I have Rune Heraldic Helm that we got earlier from a Clue Scroll. Now, in order to get a Split Bark Body, it's quite a little bit of a process and it's not a very nice process. However, I'll go ahead and get a Split Bark Body and Split Bark Legs. Those are two pieces that you need for two different clue scrolls, so it's a little bit of detour, but let's go ahead and do it. Alright, here's the first piece of the puzzle, Granite Shield. I ended up killing 49 troll generals over here in the troll stronghold, very nice. Alright, here we go, up to 100% sanctity, 50 points, but most importantly, I can now go ahead and get myself all the keys that I need in order to get all the fine cloths. This will be quite a little bit of a process, so hopefully it doesn't take me too long, and I guess we're gonna take Amulet of the Damned along the way, so we might be testing that out eventually once we have full sets. But for now, let's see how long this takes. Alright, so seven fine cloths is all we need, but I have no idea how this is going to go. That's the first one, six more to go. That's the second one. Third one, I need to maintain one key. Flame tier bag. Oh, I can put stuff in this, that's, that's quite good actually. Okay, so four out of seven from the first trip, that's pretty good I'd say. Alright, this would be trip number three. On the second one I got zero of them, so let's see if this can be any luckier. Still no Emmy of the Damned, which is surprising. There's one more, so I only need two more. Yes, I only need one more. Okay, hopefully I can get one more with these keys and then I'm a happy guy. But it can be pretty close. There it is, nice. We are done. I'm still gonna open three more, I'm gonna keep one just in case. Uh, but yeah, we got everything but the Emmy of the Damned. Perhaps I will return here at some point if I find a use for Emmy of the Damned, which I don't think I will. Alright, very quickly, if you are doing this yourself, you can trade the wizard right here. Click the one so you don't make two accidentally. Make one body and make one legs. And you need fine cloths and barks. Three for the legs, one for the body. Now we got the legs, now we got the body. We can go ahead and do our clue scroll. There is a project that I've worked on behind the scenes, something that I didn't want to let you know until I was fully committed to it and, well, I'm now fully committed to Mika's alt. Uh, this is not going to impact the progress on the main account at all. This account is a clue scroll specific account that is going to mainly AFK until getting a bunch of clue scroll and then we're gonna do a lot of clue scrolls at the same time for some awesome openings. And we are at the point in the account where we can actually unlock the new relic and this time instead of a natural selection we are going with the treasure seeker as you can see we also have the endless harvest meaning that if for example I can catch carambuans and get a ton of clues and I can fully afk that and then just complete the clues whenever I feel like doing so so treasure seeker is going to be unlocked as I said this is going to be an extremely fun account to work on behind the scenes so let's select it and confirm it very nice, but now the areas on this account, what am I gonna be taking? Well, the most clue scrolls are located in Kandarin, Asgarnia and Wilderness. So, I'm taking those areas on the account, but the next one is going to be Wilderness. That area has so many tasks, so many simple things to do that give way too many points. So, we're gonna take it, we're also gonna be able to farm Revenant, stuff like that. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's unlock the Wilderness. And let's confirm it and this is going to be great I am so excited um, but this account is going to have its own unique videos so let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to that but for now let's return with the progress of my main account all right as you've probably noticed I've been fishing and technically cooking as well because of my relics and we're up to 50 million fishing XP 52 million cooking XP and the reason why this is like my AFK place of choice like when I need to really hard AFK is because this place never moves but also slowly as I do this I also get clue scrolls and when I get clue scrolls and I have like a minute or two I complete the clue scrolls now it's not a lot but it's something right and over time it stacks up uh, however right now I think it's time for us to open this few caskets it's not gonna be anything special but you know it can be something 
For example, a rune scimitar ornament kit, or maybe a something else. Like this, see? And 50 points, just like that. When it comes to clue scrolls, you get the most random amount of points when you least expect them. So I just do them as I get them. Not too bad. Uh, right now I want to finish off Kraken and get my 10th tentacle so I can finish off that master task and, well, be done with it. This might also be one of the tasks. I'm not quite sure if I equip this. Yeah, would you look at that? 100 extra points, just like that. It's that easy. And I can dismantle it and put it in, a, in my house now. So that is just perfect. Up to 51k, 220 points. Oh my god, finally. Okay, it is done. Ladies and gentlemen, it is done. And as you can see, the last tentacle I got was at around 800kc, I think. And then this one is basically 1200 kills. If you guys are wondering what the loot is looking like from, well, a little bit over a thousand... 10 tentacles, 6 full tridents, and a bunch of solid loot. Very, very happy with the outcome. And this is now the master task that I wanted to finish for this video. I'll still end the task because, you know, why not? Uh, since I only have 14 left. You know what, actually? I don't need to do this. I can just skip it. So we're gonna grab 10 of them, enhance our trident, and get the easiest 500 points. Well, maybe not the easiest because this probably took me many, many hours to do. But still... Very simple one, just a lot of time invested in to finish this one off. Alright, the big master task. This one took a lot of hours to complete, but it was very chill, very relaxing, I enjoyed it. Let's use the Kraken Tentacle on the Leave McCracken, and she will enhance our Trident of the Seas. Let's give them to her, and I guess let's use the Trident on her. And there it is, 500 points. We now have the Trident of the Seas enchanted. Looks beautiful, but it's gonna be of no use for us because I will be using the Sanguinesti staff from here on out. Unless I return to this boss in the future, perhaps for a pet hunt or perhaps for a jar drop. But outside of that, very happy that this is completed. And with this one out of the way, I think this is a suitable place to end the video. Currently, we do have 772 million total experience with 51,700 total points. In the upcoming video, I might be focusing on more clue scrolls but also most likely tob i really want to get a rapier once i get it it will unlock so many things for me i tried really hard in this episode to get it i've done a lot of tob just the luck was not on our side but you know what that is totally fine in a game like runescape where rng has a big part of it so we're gonna continue in the next video when it comes to the hunt for the rapier with that being said i really do hope you guys did enjoy if you made it this far into the video Make sure you subscribe, click the like, and I'll see you again very soon with another upload. Have a good one, and bye-bye.